Yeah, Man City and Arsenal. Arsenal played a four, fourth team last week in the League Cup, as if like to say, like get some legs into them. We're like, getting ready, yeah. yes. Yeah, yeah. So it looked like they were working on little things last and week. And it's an early kickoff, so it's in Arsenal's the early kickoffs well, are, are always knock on a favour. It kind of levels the playing field a slightly little more, I, I would argue. Early kickoffs yeah. are a lot of bollocks. City, uh, yeah, I don't like them. City, I think you'd have to go with City at home. You know, they'll... Yeah. I Arsenal. would. I'm going to go 3-1 City. Yeah, I'd probably go 4 mm, All right. Villa and Rampart. I fancy, like, I fancy uh, Villa. I'll go another 3-1. Oh, yeah. You're going to go. Yeah. Villa bought well. Oh. I thought Villa bought well oh. out of their money in fairness. Oh, well, 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 but I think the manager's still a bit, a bit, a bit of a crap. Um, I think it's a bit crap. Use Grealish. Grealish will get a jail out. Get jail out. You know, get a jail free card last year. I'm going one all there, Billy and Bradford. Alright. Uh, Brighton Everton's going to be a good game. Yeah. Brighton are no Brighton. pushovers. Brighton are not a bad team, man. I tell you, I think, they're, I think they're a good team. Yeah, no, it depends on Baron Conley's playing his crap. He misses two yards. Happens. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he, yeah he's a bit of, But he's a threat. He's, he's like a, He's pretty similar to Tim Werner, I think. Oh, Chelsea, very similar. Like a real threat. But it's he like... He's a Franz <laughs> Who? Franz Carr? Franz Carr. All speed, no, no butch. No, I get you. Uh, but uh, the thing is like... But the thing is, though, when you have all the movement, like Tim Werner, uh, you occupy he, defenders. In fairness, he walks his arse off. Yeah. Yeah. You but know, that, but I, that's going to be a ding dong. I think that could be like four three three two to Brighton. Yeah, I'm high score. Go. High, I'll go a high score and draw. or Brighton to win by one goal. To me, Brighton are very good defensively. Uh, uh, I'm going two nil Brighton. Whoa, okay. Yeah, I believe it. Newcastle, Southampton. Southampton. I'm going Southampton here. Yeah. Yeah, Newcastle just look a shambles. And you know, a big it must be horrible to be in Newcastle's part because I don't think they know what they're getting. Yeah, that's so frustrating. No, oh, like a, a maximum, like honestly, they say that Southampton can play well and win this easily, but then again, Alan St. Maximum could just run a walk for 20 minutes and get them. Two goals. He, he, ha- I, I'm ta- I, he has absolute top tier ability in his body, doesn't mean he's going to do it every game. No, but he's he, got yeah, top he tier yeah. ability. Great, like just someone like big oh God. Like he'd be an amazing um, super sub for a top team. Yeah, he just looks like he could play for ten minutes and just be unplayable. Fucking for 10 defenders minutes. be breaking it. Two one yeah. Southampton. Yeah. You're going two one Southampton. Okay, I yeah. go. I'm gonna go one one. So the next was Norwich and Leicester. <sighs> I, I, I think that's a big scoring game. I think that's yeah. a big score. This yeah, could be a three. game where Norwich start to turn around their season a little bit. Could be a draw. I'd say three two. To who? Norwich. To Norwich. Norwich. Alright. West Ham Palace. Fucking fancy. Fa- I think West Ham to f- tr- three nothing. West Ham. Wood nothing. Huh. I'm sure. Thinking- Hammers fans won't care which one. <laughs> the big game of the weekend. It's a big game. Liverpool, Chelsea. Chelsea yeah. are strong at the back and that they could preparing for a wave. Defensively. I don't think they're strong at the back. No, 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 no. Yeah, they're, they're, the, yeah. Their structure is sound defensively. In, individually, I get that point. But if they weather the storm, it, it, then it's kind of a, it's just a toss of a coin. That's that's the way I'm looking at it. Toss of a coin. I, I think a lot of the factors for me in this game, in particular, it's it's very early in the season. I don't think the dust has settled on either team here. To be honest with you, and I think. If it was if the both teams, both teams, of course, it's both teams. If if, the, if it ends up a draw on the weekend, I think both teams walk away happy. That's the way I kind of looking at it Cause, because of the the way it is in the season. It was just halfway through the season. It's like then I'd be talking about that that game a lot differently. It's so early. It's a little bit unfair to judge either team. Listen, if Liverpool were to hammer them five nothing, I'm not. It's early, and if Chelsea were to hammer Liverpool. It's early. There's, there's a lot of cobwebs on both sides, I think, to be... I can't, can't say Lanfield that Liverpool lose. We uh, lose this. Fair yeah, enough, fair enough. Yeah, I'm going to go. 2-0, I'll go 1-0. Yeah, I'll 
So Sunday. Sunday. On, on Monday game. Already, it's International Week. Would you believe it? Um, oh yeah, yeah. Burnley Leeds. Uh, this is. Uh, I'm going nil all. Yeah, that's not a bad show. I was going. I was going to say a draw, but I mean, I was going. Say, going I was going to say one one, but it's going to be a game for the black and white era. Um, I think even Leeds can try and pack all they want, but uh, I think Burnley just going to grind it down and play World Rumble. Um, yeah, I'd say nil nil. Spores Watford. Spores Watford. Jeez, this used to win. This is a real eighties fixture for me. He used to swap players all the time. I mean, Culver helps and all that. Um, I've got a fancy Spores here. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna go three one Spores. Spores no, fans be, would be well. Actually, I think Watford have a bit of pace to hurt Spores. Yeah, but I Nuno's not a gob shit, and he's he's a little bit on the defensively sound angle. Yeah, he's not naive. Two one Spores. Uh, I think 3-1. Okay, Wolves and Manchester United to finish off the Premiership weekend. I don't know. I, think, I don't think Wolves start the season well at all. No. United 2-1. That's, uh, oh, you, I, oh, I agree with that. Yeah, I think I didn't see them. I didn't see Wolves last week against Spurs. Yeah, uh, Triardi was unbelievable. They deserved. They didn't get deserved. Get, they deserved at least a draw. They played very well. I will. I will yeah. admit that. Yeah, I watched. Probably it. Out the wrong mouth, he was really good. Triari, you fucking destroyed him, man. They couldn't handle him. It's like six men on him, and he's bouncing through them. It's like it could have been. It could have been. He could have a set up a hat trick on any other day. Dead serious, man. He was un, He was untouchable. He's, he's just the way tri- you think of Triari. That was his game. They have a mad team. Uh, Neto's out forever. Like, Neto's not going to be back this season, probably. Uh, they have a mad team. If him and his back, and obviously. That's on his mind. His head, yeah. head injury. Ah, it's, he's out for ages. It, it's it's the same yeah. thing with the likes of Van Dijk and all. It's going to take a bleeding month or two for them to even get hundred percent confidence, hundred percent cobwebs movement. What you name it, you know, it's going to take a bleeding it's a mad seven team. games, whatever it is, you know. Yeah, it's a mad team they have. They're all over the place. Yeah, well, you never know. They're at home though. They are at home and the Roar can take it so far. And I think it may may work, but I don't know. I, I just think you know you're cagey, cagey away from home a bit, you know. There was an interesting angle on the last week when uh, Neville was talking about how they used to come they were coming from behind last year and away, away, from, away from home. A lot of, you know, losing money and a half points. There was no crowd to wish the home side on. 100%. So they were losing that extra 10% that you get from a home crowd. Yeah. So you know you are easily able to pick these guys off because you're just playing the same level the whole game, rather yeah. than you know. So now that you know we got the wolves and you, like you know, you have to try and silence the crowd there. That's because it's a loud place as well, Mall and you. Yeah. So you know, it's squared um, for sure. I, I, I could say one all there, but I think you might know, might nick it yeah, too. Yeah, wolves. The goes. fact that they got beaten against Spurs, they uh, they're gonna try and go for it, and I think you might know, have to pace to hurt them. Yeah, I do, and it, I also think that. I think Wolves are a team towards the end of the transfer. We don't need one or two, one or two more players. I mean, the best players out till well, Christmas or more. Yeah. Fair enough. Fair enough. Uh, all right, we can't fucking go anywhere with talking. It's Rangers and Celtic on Sunday. I think Celtic are back. You reckon? I think our man's good. I think our man's good. And I think he has them knocking the ball around again the way they were. Celtic should play. And Neil Lennon had them playing like fucking agricultural football last year, and it doesn't do Celtic play that way. And also Celtic with fans, it's huge. That's a good point. I saw I watched Rangers in the first game against uh, when they came back after being champions, and I was expecting some sort of triumphalism or you know look those champions. And the atmosphere was very flat. I was like, mm. "Well, me lads, you swear fucking gone bankrupt a few years ago." Aren't they? And uh, aren't they missing a few players with COVID as well? Yeah, they were at the Linda Colvin run away a bit in that camp. But still, Celtic played tonight and they got through against the uh, AZ Alkmaar. Yeah, I watched some of it, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And the, then they were left, they were blessed in yeah. other way. Well, they gave away two bleeding dodgy goals as well, in fairness. An OG no, and a fucking... Yeah, but yeah, Joe Hart, the what the fuck is he doing? Yeah, in fairness, I think the Dutch league's good for Ram for Scotland. It's around the same level. Yeah, I know, know but the thing is, though, the t- yeah, they, they scored an OGA and Joe Hart should just go through the whole fucking leech, fucking bottle tackles. What are you doing, man? You're six yeah. foot three. You're going, in that, you're going in that tackle like that? Yeah, we'll keep our tail. You've got extra fucking protection. Core. You know, Core. Hold it, hold it 
they're going to be giving out free kicks. Just hoof it. So the centre of the defender made a mistake initially. Then Joe Hart made a mistake. Plus two of the defenders scored no G. So, yeah. So I got a little dodgy yeah. for them. But the thing is, there was a couple they of looked, passages of play they looked a little sharp. They were doing little one twos like, oh, I like that. Yeah, uh, James McCarthy is going to be a good sort of player to have in a, in a, in a, in a what do you call it? Callum McGregor, that's the player. He's good. He's the car. He's got a dinger there last week. Um, I think, I really do. This new left, this the new fullback they brought in, Juranovic of Croatia, is supposed to be good as well. So, it's supposed to be like, how the hell did they get him when it's only no? Yeah. Um, and Edward and your man for Rahashi Kyogo seem to have uh, seem to have hit it off, you know. Yeah. Seem to work well off each other. I yeah. think your man Edward when Rogers had him, in, he looked level above on the, the cards, you know, after Dembele left when he brought him in. And he looked he looked a level above. But I'd be surprised if Edward, like, there's still a couple of days left. I think something like Villa could do without Edward, you know, or, you know, someone needs a striker down in the Premier League. Wouldn't be, wouldn't be a bad show to give him a go, but, you know. But I, th- I think Celtic are back. I think your man hasn't played the right Celtic way. Yeah, so Rangers like, are at home. It's the Ibrox. Oh, jeez. Um, yeah, Rangers might go for a little, might, might go for it a little too much. That might suit Celtic. I think Gerard's management has a measured approach to everything. I think he's he's learned a lot from Benitez in that regard. In yeah, way, he could be, game. he could be, yeah, because he knows if he goes gung ho, he get picked off. He's all about getting the result. It doesn't matter what result it is, just mm, no deals. You know? Yeah, I think the only thing that confirms is not the deals. Celtic, I think, a draw for sure, for sure. Rangers are suffering with COVID and a couple of more players coming down. We don't see that.